Laparoscopy has revolutionized surgery. Nevertheless, the lack of tactile feedback and the loss of the three-dimensional view are limitations that cannot be ignored. These limitations have led to a search for another real-time source of information regarding critical structures in the surgical field in addition to the visible view. Infrared imaging to detect blood vessels was previously shown to be effective in open surgery, mainly coronary artery bypass, where it was used to assess bypass patency. Infrared, uh, visible light has a wavelength of 380 to 750 nanometers. The color we see is determined by the exact wavelength. Other types of electromagnetic radiation have different wavelengths. The range The range between uh, 750 nanometers and one millimeter is the infrared range. This kind of radiation is emitted from warm objects. Slide, please. The assumption at the base of the idea of infrared vessel imaging is that blood vessels are warmer than their surrounding tissues. The human body emits infrared radiation with wavelengths of around 10 micrometers. We used an infrared detector, which is sensitive for wavelengths of 8 to 14 micrometers. And as can be seen on the left, it can easily detect superficial blood vessels, which are not readily seen by the naked eye. Slide. Nevertheless, when using infrared imaging in laparoscopy, we face major concerns. First, there is concern that the closed space of the insufflated abdomen would not allow heat loss and hence decrease temperature discrepancies between the vessels and their surroundings. Secondly, infrared radiation does not penetrate standard glass lenses, hence there is need for either expensive germanium lenses laparoscope or miniaturizing the infrared detector in order to introduce it to the abdominal cavity. Slide. We performed an animal study on porcine model using a specially designed detector. We first examined the detector with superficial blood vessel imaging and then continued to laparoscopy. Slide, please. You can see here the animal's thigh and groin as they are seen with a regular video camera on the upper left and simultaneously with the infrared detector. The femoral vessels are readily seen with the infrared detector and are apparent to the naked eye only after the exposure at a depth of about five millimeters. When obstructing the flow, as we can see here, Within a short period of time, the infrared signal is gone, and it is renewed when the flow is restored. Slide. To perform infrared laparoscopic imaging, we had to introduce the large detector to the peritoneal cavity. We made a seven centimeter long incision and inserted the detector through a lap disc. Slide. Here we can see the gastroepiploic artery as it is demonstrated with the infrared detector. Its bright pulsations are obvious. Bleeding from an injured artery is also readily seen, including its exact point of origin even when it is covered by a pool of blood. Slide. Application of cool lavage to the surgical field, as we see now, is accentuating the vessels because they are rewarmed much faster than their surroundings. Slide. Application of monopolar diathermy, as demonstrated here on the left liver lobe, produces a strong local signal but has no influence on the rest of the surgical field. Even so, the local effect is long lasting. Here we can see a simultaneous infrared and visible light uh, imaging of the stomach, the spleen, and the gastroepiploic artery with the pulsations that we just saw. Slide. Small bowel and the vessels in its mesentery are also evident using infrared detector. Slide. Structures in the hepatoduodena ligament are obvious as well. You can see here the retracted gallbladder, and the cystic artery is vi visualized brightly along its way. 
slide. The results of the study are that the infrared detector has successfully identified concealed blood vessels. Coulavage accentuated infrared detection, while systemic temperature changes with cool and warm intravenous saline infusions did not affect it. Localized heating of tissue on the operative field using electropotry had local effect only. Slide. In the future, smaller infrared detectors will be available. This will allow their introduction to the peritoneal cavity through a standard laparoscopic trocar. Real-time fusion of visible and infrared images with which is evolving will enhance the capability to detect blood vessels. Can you press once more, please? This is an example of such a fusion. On the upper left, the visible view. On the upper right, the infrared view. And below them, the fused clip. Notice the warm teacup and the cool eyeglasses. Slide, please. To conclude, infrared imaging is feasible in laparoscopy, and we have found that cool lavage is a maneuver to augment detector sensi sensitivity. When the technical obstacles of detector size and image fusion will be overcome, this modality will enhance the anatomical vision and could provide real-time vessel mapping. Thank you very much.